Mr. William's hair had grown really long. He badly needed to have his hair cut. Now, take this money and get your hair cut. His father said, If you hurry back home, I will take you and Anna for the cricket match today. Peter got excited. He decided to hurry. He wanted to go and watch the cricket match that day. Peter got onto his bicycle and ringing his bell merrily. He started off for the barber's shop. Bruno, the neighbor's dog, saw Peter getting onto his bicycle. He decided to follow Peter. Peter parked his bicycle outside the barber's shop. Bruno began to push into the shop ahead of Peter. You stay outside, Peter ordered Bruno. He went inside and sat down awaiting his turn. There were four people ahead of him. Peter could see Bruno through the window. Bruno was looking for another way to get inside the barber's shop. He went to the shoe shop next door. A few moments later, Bruno came running out of the shop. A man was chasing him. The man looked very angry. He opened the door of the barber's shop and asked, Where did that big dog come from? Everyone looked at Peter. He's not my dog, Peter said. Well, that dog jumped in through the window and walked all over my shoes. He was angry. Then he banged the door loudly and went back to his shop. Bruno lay down on the pavement just in front of the barber's shop. Three men came to have their hair cut, but Bruno barked at them. The barber looked at Peter. Child, isn't that your dog? Peter looked down at his shoes and said, No, he just followed me. He lives next to my house. Well, the barber said, that dog is keeping people out of my shop. There are people waiting ahead of you. But I'll cut your hair first. I don't want that dog around here. Get up on the chair. Hurry. Peter got onto the chair and the barber started to work. Peter's hair fell everywhere. No one had ever cut his hair in such a hurry before. Soon it was over. The barber lowered the chair and Peter got down. He paid the barber and went outside. He climbed onto his bicycle and rode home as fast as he could. Bruno ran ahead of him. Anna was standing near the gate. Dad is waiting for us inside, she said. Dad looked at Peter's hair and nodded his head. It looks fine, he said. Good, you didn't take too long. See what you can do when you decide to hurry. Now, have your bath and get ready. Then, we will go to the stadium. How did you manage to get your hair cut so quickly? Anna asked her brother. Ask Bruno, replied Peter as he shut the bathroom door. At the stadium, Anna sat on one side of Mr. Williams 
and Peter sat on the other side. The wind felt cool on the back of Peter's neck. 